So the people have spoken and you guys have spoken very loudly and you wanted a new map called Drayton Farm. So I'm giving you guys that Drayton Farm 2013. Let's go ahead and start that up. The loading times might be a little bit larger, but welcome to Drayton Farm. Drayton Farm is based in the Lincolnshire Wolds. To see all triggers, please view the tr video on the download page. The thing is that there's so many websites that you can download this from. I have no idea where the official download page is. So you have to forgive me if I give you some random page. It's just that everyone's trying to pretty much almost pirate the game. Just so they can make some money off the traffic of people that want to download the games. But this is also a lot better because we start off with some rather dodgy machinery. Nothing that's too good. We still don't start off with that red harvester. That was a definitely a pain. <laughs> Thankful we don't start off with that. They only had about 1500 uh, capacity as well. So that was pretty bad. Some new sounds of animals as well. Let's have a little walkabout firstly. What is this? I think this is where we put our fertilizer. No, fill level. Oops. Oh, this? The grass maybe? i got no idea. We still have to explore everything. I think here is where the cows go. This is our nice little pasture. Yep, it's nice and open for them. I love this a little bit. I love overhanging branches. Just makes it like, look like a nice little cozy home almost. And then over here we have... Bit of hay bales, which I don't think we can move about. Uh, but, or straw bales, but here are our sugar beets. And over up on top are our potatoes. So we'll just come up over here. Even though I don't think we'll be able to fit in any large trailers. This is actually quite a bad position. I think we'll have to reverse in here. Yeah, I think that's what we'll have to do. We'll have to reverse to get our sugar beets. Then over on the other side, there it will be potatoes. And I think we'll also have a couple of vehicles. So here we can deliver some stuff, or at least we can take it out. I'm not exactly sure where we deliver it. I guess over here. And the solos are spinning about. That's really good. That's something new and original. I like originality in maps, but god damn, that's loud. And here is the potatoes. So we already have a field, which is already grown out. Let's check the map out firstly. It is quite small. It's all nice and compact. After all, we are in Great Britain. So it is probably... Very realistic, I'd say. But let's go ahead and... Actually, let's go into our harvester, which should be right over here behind us. Thankfully, we've got a sower as well. Some fertilizers, which is cow manure fertilizer. I guess that's just a plain old cultivator. I guess that's a cultivator. Maybe it's a sower as well. No, I think it's a sower as well, maybe. Maybe for potatoes. You never know. But we don't have anything to harvest potatoes with at all right now. Let's go ahead and attack. Oh, it's already attached. Now, I think this is a, another, a new one, a new harvester, one that we haven't used before. If we go over to the ones that we own, there we go, we can have a look at everything. So, you just start off with a really good front loader, but all the other front loaders are pretty bad. They're extremely hard to control, so that's all right. And we don't start off with as many things. Uh, this does everything, like the main crops. Okay, so we don't have anything that can do corn, and that was actually a fertilizer. But this also fertilizes. So he's given us pretty much two fertilizers. Okay, that's, that's doable. We can definitely go ahead and uh, have a bit of fun. A couple of small trailers as well. Nothing too much. And are we going to make it through over here? That's a bit of a problem then. Okay, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how I should make it through because we can't fold it up. I guess we have to maybe go out through the other way. Although that's going to be a tight squeeze as well. Interesting. First of all, problems. How do you make it through? <laughs> Unless there's something that I'm missing. There must be something. No, there wouldn't be something that you have to do to open anything up special. What if like, I reverse my way in here? Is that going to make a difference? Because I don't have any trailers. Let's check back at the store. I don't have any trailers for the header. And we can't fold the cutter up either. Let's just try our hand at reversing. No matter what I try to do, it's going to fail. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we should do. Oh, you know what we should do? That rooster is annoying. 
let's go to vehicle selection and try this out. Uh, where are we? Right, let's turn this off. Harvest this. Okay. Oh no! It just resets it. Oh, what? It resets it in the exact same place? Reset next vehicle. It's almost as if you can't reset your vehicles. Well, I've got no idea how to do this. That's a bit shocking. There must be some way you can get through all of this. It said to watch the video in the download, but I couldn't find any video. I might have to look it up on YouTube for some triggers. But how else could we go through here? I got no idea. I guess I'm missing something very, very obvious and you guys are screaming at me. But it's like a puzzle game. Because both these areas are blocked off. I guess we'll have to settle for something else. But Maybe we can open this. Ah, okay. Maybe, okay. Okay, okay. I think I've got an idea. Because we can travel through this. It's like there's no invisible walls there. So if we're lucky, oh, I doubt it, we might be able to reverse through here. That would be a lot of luck. No, we won't be able to. <laughs> it's too fat. All right, well, I think we might have to sell it. And we'll have to give it to the shop. That's a bit unfortunate. All right, well, we've wasted enough time on that. So let's go ahead and uh, sow a couple of our fields. So I'm pretty sure that this cell also cultivates at the same time. Quite handy, really. Maybe I just downloaded a bad version of the map. I thought it was just the official version 1.0. I do think I downloaded it from a dodgy website though. One of those ones that just rip other people's mods. Probably not a very responsible thing for me to do, but I couldn't find it on LSUK. It said it was unavailable. If we go over to here, we should be there we go there are some fences which we can travel through properly I think over there there's a little pathway there where's the fence over here because I don't want to always travel through these bushes I got no idea anyway we'll have to go ahead and start sowing bit of rocks on the ground that's no good and here is another field that we can harvest I think I sold for some wheat. I'd rather it lengthways because I think that'll be a lot quicker though. So let's set the work up. I think I should speed him up a little as well. As long as he doesn't hit any trees. Which I think he will. Yep. So what the workers do in 2013 is they just go along the coordinates. So he'll stay along the 1,448 coordinate. And he'll keep on going is until he can no longer cultivate the ground and sow anymore. Yeah, so that's what happens. All right, back over here. We can, of course, fertilize some fields, but we only have two fields if we check over here. We've only got two fields that have grown out, and this is the one that we're sowing as well. So we've got 19 and 21. We want to go ahead and uh, harvest them. Although how we do that, I've got no idea. I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to... Okay. I've got a rough idea. Let's unattach this. Drive our harvester over to where we can sow the field, which is right over here. It is really nice once you climb up this hill. I've played it a little bit before. It is really nice, the view from up top of the hill. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've gone in the complete wrong direction, but we can go forward. Doesn't really matter. I love these overhanging trees. Couple of new plants as well. Haven't seen them before. And also, the mod creator has taken a lot of time on the map because you can 
go ahead and buy the fields properly. So it's not like it was previously in the other map that we played on, where the fields that you could buy were just where they were originally in the Hagenstad. This time they're all in their proper place for each and every field, which is really nice. At least the ones that we don't own. So I'll put up this main harvester bits over here. We're playing it five times speed. I think I should slow down the time. Okay, that's good enough. All oh, right, and there is one of the little gates. How do we get over into this section, though? So, you know, there doesn't seem to be any gates over here. All right, anyway, let's go to the shop now and try our luck by going to the miscellaneous section. Go to you had a trailer and see the problem is I've never actually worked this. So let's go get a tractor. You're doing a roughly decent job. I can't really complain too much. Now, we go get him. We go to the shop. So the shop is all on the other side of the map. Which the map isn't really too big, so we can't complain. I think first person is a little better. Yeah, so it was recommended to uh, alter the text documents for the vehicle spawn rate because there's a lot of vehicles now on the roads and it can get a little bit uh, burdensome with all these cars in the way. Kind of really annoying, but it is also very funny once you go to the very edge of the map. It's pretty much like the other map how the mod creator uh, just created a massive cliff face of nothingness. And all these cars are spawning out over there. I think here is the shop. Yep, that's where it is. There's a header trailer. But firstly, let's drive through these trees. I'll show you something really weird. Hey. Is he going to drive off? No, they stop. They usually stop. That's pretty funny, though. I'm not exactly sure where the spawn point is. There we go. There's some more vehicles coming out. I wonder what would happen if we just stayed here for a couple of seconds. There'd just be a massive traffic jam, because I think we need to be in a certain radius for them to disappear. I'm just going to keep on appearing, aren't they? Looks like Slenders is driving that car. Alright, off we go. Hopefully we're going to be on the road. Oh. On to uncovering traffic. But of course we, can, we should be able to make it. And then onto another car. Maybe we should... So maybe I will give it a shot of trying to slow down the car respawn rate. They do get uh, quite busy over here, especially where they spawn at. Let's get the header trailer, even though I've never used it. It will be interesting. I think we might be able to sell a crop here. I still haven't figured out where we sell the crop. Maybe if I check prices. Okay, at the port. It's the only place. Yep. And then there's a great demand to the port as well. So where could the port be? They've given us... Okay, that's pretty much the stock standard amount of crop. I'm not be sure where the port is. Have to try to find it ourselves though. But right now, I just want to bring the header trailer over to our main farm and try to put our header on. So then we'll be able to go ahead and start harvesting because that was a bit of a problem. We can't fit through. Maybe it's changed in a later update of the map. But not too sure on that. Brenny could indicate. There's no way you can indicate as of yet. It would be nice. Especially on a map like this. Where it is quite realistic. It's probably what many of you guys are used to seeing. Can be a bit difficult trying to drive through here without the header trailer trying to smash into everything. But we manage okay. I think all we have to do is just drive up next to the actual header. Please. Oh no. Is there more to do? No. No, I don't want to refuel. 
Uh, do we need to bring our aggro vector or something? First world problems. All right, lots to learn. Does this have any fork? No, this has the shovel. I oh, don't. No. What is the shovel used for? Like, why did he give us the shovel? There must have been a reason. I don't know. Uh, let's have back over here. Try to work this out. Do we need to get out? Nope. The same the description. I haven't not used this at all. I know I bought one in Hagenstad, but I still haven't used it. Transporting cutters in a space-saving way. This allows you to transport the cutters of your harvesters in an efficient manner that suits traffic conditions. Yep, sure does. Except the problem is we don't know how to assemble it properly. I thought you just had to drive next to it and then you just press a button to attach. Clearly not. Unless you need to align yourself with it properly. Uh, in that case, we can do that. Let's try to reset everything. Oh, they just reset in the exact same place, though, don't they? First world problems here. What I'm trying to do, I really don't know, but it seems like we have it sort of attached almost. It's like glitched up. Maybe we could carry it like this all the time. Don't tell me this header was just a waste of money. I guess it was. There's no chance of us being able to connect it. What if I bring my aggravector? You got to think of all these uh, possibilities. What if I bring my aggravector? Is there another thing over here that we can like glitch through? This is just concrete. Yeah. It, that doesn't work. So let's bring out the aggravector. Maybe we'll bring, be able to bring this shovel out. To good use, I'll add data. But maybe we'll be able to push it through. Oh no, definitely not the way we're supposed to be doing things, but I'll do it. I'll take it. At least this thing fits through. That guy's working nicely. That's really nice. You see these nice little cottages. And everyone's doing their thing. Okay. Well, the connecting bits are pretty much perfect. I just need, need to wait for these cars, and because we're over here, all the cars are sporting next to us. So the cars only pretty much spawn wherever you are. What I want to do is just try to make this come out. There we go. Even though the connecting bit is facing that wall now, I have to figure out a way to make everything work though. Okay, and then what I'll do, I think I could push it forward. Well, so much of the episode is just going to be spent doing this. <laughs> just to get our harvest. And then I've got to make sure I never bring my harvester in back in over here. Yes, it worked. Wait, so are we going to be able to reset this guy? That is a good question. I don't think we will be able to. No. <laughs> if you get stuck here, you have to actually push your vehicle out. No. That's not good. Why did you guys recommend me this map? Do you just want, me to see, want to see me fail over and over again? So cramped up. Now that head is getting in the way, but... And how are we going to get be able to get through here? I guess we'll have to glitch through the uh, bushes. Maybe not glitch through them, but push through them. Whoa, there's a lot of cars. Okay, I'm going to have to drive over a couple of them. And he's hoping that we don't get... Oh, no, no, don't push that. Um, okay. Oh, this is looking good. Bloody brilliant. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to reverse. It's not letting me. No. What is there to do now? Maybe we should go over into our silver vehicle. And just attach this. At the back. And try to push everyone out of the way and probably get stuck once more. Why did you guys recommend me this map? Oh, there we go. I guess they sort of disappear after a while, these cars. Which is a good thing. 
We'll get there. We'll get there. We will have a field ready to harvest and a harvester there in no time this episode. There we go. So now we just need to try to drive through here. Okay. And then, because we're not going to be able to fit through the gates, I'll we'll have to drive through here. And, okay, well... Jeez, these fields are so cramped up. It's going to be hard to, like, get everything harvested. But I think this is good enough to start harvesting. We'll go do these little bits and pieces that we leave behind a little bit later on. Let's check back up on our sower. He's doing quite a decent job. Although, oh, it is nice that he's uh, went around the telephone pole. It is really weird that there's telephone poles in the middle of a farm. Such a small farm as well. They could have routed it around. I guess they were lazy. So, what's it time to do now? I think it's time to bring out our fertilizer. So let's just let all these cars through. And I'll also push the aggro vector out of the way. It's not really in the way, I just want it to be pushed out so we can use it again. If at all possible. That's a bit more work though. We'll do that a bit later on. Let's try to find the fertilizing machinery. I guess this requires a PTO shaft. Is it? I think it does, yep. Yeah, it does require a PTO shaft. Right, the back is quite hard to see. And I think this will be the fertilizer. No, this is fuel. Jeez, you can only go 270. Well, you can fill up to 270, but it must be... It must stop at like 269.9999999. Because it's thinking that we're using up fuel now. It's not. Oh, well, fertilizer. Where could you be? Maybe I'll open it there on the other side, underneath the growth of trees. This has two sections. We've got this bit. Maybe I should watch the video to learn some things about uh, these triggers on the maps. Because I've tried uh, attaching one of these machines over where the shop is. It's give, given us a couple of other ones of these things. I'm not exactly sure what it does, though. It doesn't attach to anything. At least not to things that I've tried. Ooh, ooh. You better be paying attention to where I'm driving straight in front of me, not towards the side. Okay, well. If anything, it should be around here. The refueling stuff. Not the refueling, but the fertilizing stuff. Maybe back around here. At least we're learning. We'll be playing this map a bit more episodes than we did the previous one. So we'll have a couple of new things up here. No, it's, I guess it's not over here. Where we need to go. Maybe? Is it? What's over here? What is this? Some cleaning machinery? We can't use it though. Just some random blue barrels. Very bright blue barrels. Very clean. Yeah, ooh, our harvest is already at 86%. Uh, over here, no, that just leads off into another field. So there's some more blue barrels. I don't like blue barrels. Don't tell me I completely skipped over where we want to be. The fertilizer. Because the fertilizing machine is blue. Oh, the filler upper up. It's blue. Hmm. Maybe we have to buy it and place one? But... You'd expect everything to be given to you. At least I do. Ah, oh, there it is. Hidden away. You guys probably saw that. Alright, so refill fertilizer spread up. We're going to use this machine back again. It's been a long time since we've used it. It's actually quite good. It's got a good spread. We do not want to actually no it's probably easy if we go over here and then we'll just cross these bushes like so. Oh you're stuck, you're stuck in a tree. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have a bit of a problem. At least we're gonna 
be able to doing a couple of things manually instead of just hiring workers all the time. I can speed up the speed as well. So. There we go. Something like so. He's fertilizing everything. I don't own this field. He was. Are we going too fast or what? It's, it's coming up with two different messages. It's saying I don't own this field and that I'm driving too fast. I wonder why I don't own this field. Hopefully there's an update to this mod. If there is, that'd be perfect. Have to check it out. But if there is an official download link, then please uh, private message me because YouTube doesn't allow you to put links on uh, websites in the comment section. So if you do know of a Drayton map mod, uh, be sure to put it in a private message for me and I'll read it. So I'll be able to know if I have the official one. So I couldn't really find it. There's so many different spammy websites out there. Okay, so harvest is all done. I think it's time to bring up our... Well, I think I'm bringing the trailer back down. Oh, well, I'll bring this fertilizer down and I'll bring the tipper back up the trailer. But firstly, I just want to get this done. Priorities, people, priorities. Hopefully all I'm doing is my field. It's really nice. There's a lot of trees. Probably taking a hit on my graphics card a bit. With all these polygons it needs to count. Yeah, and I'm assuming that this is the last trip. Yeah. Alright, that's good enough. So that's 70% used up. The fertilizer. Let's turn this off. And I think we can drive through here. Yep. In between the houses. You wouldn't want to live next to it, like in a house like this, next to some fertilized field with all the uh, chemicals. Probably wouldn't be the best thing for you. These trees are getting in the way. I'm pretty sure there's a car there. And indeed, there is. I'm going to try to... Oh. Because it, this is such a small map, I think uh, organizing your stuff is going to be quite important. So what I'll do is I'll put this nice and neatly over into this shed where we got it from. And then we'll get the tip up. I don't think the tip is too big, it's only that uh, 17,500 carrying capacity one. And no, 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 I don't like this. I do not like this. No! All our vehicles are stuck and we can't tell them to come back properly. I wish that worked properly. Oh, first world problems. Alright, well, I guess this will have to bring an end to the episode. I'm going to have to unhire this guy. Tell him to work when he gets past that tree. There we go. He's only going to miss a little bit. Nothing too major though. At least we have still one car or one vehicle that's not completely stuck, which is this one. So once he's done, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll be back once I do all of this field. Hopefully when he gets too stuck, too bad. And I'll try to use this vehicle to push out all the other ones that are stuck. If not, well, this is going to be quite a fail. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.